Hey guys, it's Tony here with UAV RC and I've been flying RCs for maybe like eight years now. And normally we have uh, people crashing or they get really sketchy video because somebody else in the pit is turning on their equipment to test it or getting ready to go up and fly next. So at least once an hour we have guys crashing because of the miscommunication of video channels and frequencies. The main thing we would want to improve is definitely organizing the video frequency channels. That would be the number one because if we can organize that, then I mean we can get more people up in the air flight at the same time. But sometimes you go to the, all these events and you got 50 guys there, you get to fly once, that sucks. For a first time pilot, that is so unfriendly. It's like, hey, come out here and there's these guys that uh, are really great pilots and paying just as much as them and I'm gonna crash halfway through my first lap and that's gonna have cost me 15 bucks. Because I, I mean, I go to a lot of them we don't get to fly. You come all charged up, but then there's so many people who are like, oh, I'm not flying. Because you know it's a mess. It's a huge mess. Everybody's plugging in and a bunch of stuff is just a mess. It's really important that they get at least five flights, at least. You know, if, if they're going up there and crashing every single time and their aircraft's not, you know, working properly, you know, that, that's a bad day already. Uh, you can pick your channel. Once you're on that channel, everybody can see which channel you're on so you don't have to go around asking everybody what channel they're on. So I think it's going to be a must for these organizations. It makes it a lot easier than running your standard uh, you know, erasable boards, uh, sort of uh, having a list, writing everything down, practically organizes everything for you. And then uh, that way we're all on the same level when we're getting ready to fly or whatever next heat is coming up or, you know, it'll give you all the stats of the pilots. It'll show you who's flying, who's coming in to fly and who's, uh, you know, who wants to join in. Pay 10 bucks for them to organize it? I think it's nothing. If I was doing my own meet and I want you guys to organize it, the or app. to use the app. Use the app. Yeah, why not? $10 is more than, more than reasonable. It's better than having a headache. If it's a huge event, and you know these huge events have huge budgets, so 10 bucks is gonna be nothing. So I think charging a premium for that. You got 10 pilots and you need to know who's on what channel and that just makes it super easy. I mean, it's, it's the easiest way. Plus, you can invite people. Like, you can have, like, if you can, you know, once it's on the, I guess on the market and people can download it, you can set up the event, you automatically pay the 10 bucks and then everybody, you can have a certain amount of people sign up, say like 15 pilots. Once those 15 seats are taken, that's it. That's the end of that for that event. 